Welcome to your next edition of Highlights. As members of our CalendarChats.com family, uh, you know we get these, uh, or you get these on an intermittent basis. And what we're going to be looking at now is the importance of the longer term trend. Uh, ideally, one should try to go in the direction of the longer term trend when setting up a new trade. It's not as important if you're offsetting a current position, but when you're placing or initiating a new trade, uh, the odds are much more in your favor if you're going with a longer term trend. And what we mean by longer term trend, it could be a series of higher and higher, uh, higher highs and higher lows for a bullish trend, or the reverse, a series of lower lows and lower highs uh, for a bear trend. One may look at a chart of a higher degree. In other words, if you're looking at a daily chart, uh, some of us may look at a weekly chart to get a sense of the longer term trend. If a price is above a moving average, is another way or below a moving average so sometimes on some financial networks you'll see hey the stock price is above a 200 day moving average uh, that is really them saying hey the trend on this stock is up and you could also use two moving averages a shorter and a longer term moving average and that's what I personally use I'll use a 20 and the 50 day moving average simple moving average and if the 20 is above the 50 day moving average and especially if they're both sloping up to me the intermediate or longer term trend is up and uh, if they're if the 20 day is under the 50 day moving average and especially if they're both sloping down the longer term trend is down so let's look at an example of this of what I call candles in context and keep in mind that and before we look at that slide let me um, bring out an important point we our education is not just getting you familiar with the candlestick signals but how to correctly use them you could have a candlestick signal and sometimes you trade on it sometimes you uh, set up a new trades other times you use it only to exit a position and other times you just ignore it so it's not just what the candlestick signal looks like but what to do with it and that's again that separates those who know the candlesticks from our education from those who don't so let's get to the slide here so here we have a couple of shooting stars uh, at the blue arrow over here and this is uh, actually taken from one of our recent uh, market updates for those of you who are members of mycalendarcharts.com you know that uh, we do markets of your choice and we do market updates every day if you're not a member by the way of mycalendarcharts.com uh, and want to find out more about it just uh, I'll, I'll post the link here okay and here's the link www.nissenspecial.com backslash mycc also, you'll see how you can get flashcards and some other cool bonuses, a free copy of my book. But anyway, let's get back to uh, this. So uh, here we have a couple of shooting stars in the uh, shown at the blue arrows. And the, this is the 20-day moving average in the blue line, and there's a 50-day moving average. So here in this particular market, the 20 is well below the 50-day moving average. They're both sloping down. So obviously, at least based on the way I define trend, uh, the in longer or intermediate term trend is down. So here we have a bearish candlestick signal in a longer term downtrend. So something like this, I'd be perfectly comfortable uh, thinking about uh, selling short. Or there are other considerations to take into account beyond the scope of this brief uh, video. But here we have a bear signal in a longer term bear trend. Actually, my downside target would be the low of this bullish engulfing pattern. Here, in this market, happens to be Amazon, we have a shooting star, but look at the difference. Look at this longer term trend. The 20 is above, well above the 50 day moving average. They're both sloping up. So here I'd be very nervous about shorting this market because you're taking a bearish candlestick signal in a very strong uptrend. So something like this I'd probably use to lighten up on some current long positions. So thanks for joining me. And again, congratulations on being a family member of candlecharts.com and be sure to check out this link at nissenspecial.com uh, backslash mycc.